From Nutrient Ag Solutions, I'm Senior Meteorologist Andrew Pritchard with your Canadian Prairie Weather Story for Monday, May 6th, 2024. We've got an active start to the week. A lot of rain across parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan, 30 to 50 millimeters or more in some areas as we head through the next couple of days. We do expect a pause in this active pattern late week into the weekend before we kind of kick things back into gear next week. So a drier finish to the week, those temperatures... In some areas, going to be warming up, in others, pretty steady. Expecting highs to settle in around the uh, 20 degree to the lower 20 degree, uh, lower 20s, I guess I should say, for those high temperatures by the time we get to the end of the week, through the weekend, and then into much of next week. Now, as we just kind of look at the satellite picture here, big storm system across the midsection of the U.S., a lot of severe weather expected to accompany this one over the next couple of days. You can see all the rain, though, across parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan is going to be coming from this next system, starting to spin its way into parts of western Canada. As we get started looking at the radar here this morning, a lot of scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms in parts of southwestern Saskatchewan, but an active picture here, a lot of Gulf moisture being drawn northward. This is that setup that we've talked about, uh, you know, in depth over the last several months. You know, what's the favorable storm track? Well, you want a lot of moisture in parts of uh, the prairie, specifically western parts of the prairie. We need that storm track to lift out of the southwest to the northeast. That gives us that flow out of the south. Uh, from the Gulf of Mexico there, and we even get a little bit of terrain help here from the Rockies. So this is the setup for a lot of precipitation across Alberta and Saskatchewan. It's also a setup for some warmer temperatures. Again, that warm, humid air is drawn up out of the south. Those temperatures in the teens this morning. We'll see highs in the 20s again for a lot of the next 7 to 10 days. And then if you look at the next seven days, just broadly from the European ensemble model, again, a lot of precipitation across the midsection of the U.S., a lot of that severe weather. And then on the north side, we get that uh, that good flow out of the south for a big corridor of widespread, heavy soaking rains. Now, as we look at week two, again, we quiet down just a little bit, but we kind of just lose some confidence. We're going to pause the pattern, but we'll pick it back up at some point next week as well. You can see that here as we look at the 500 millibar height anomalies. You can kind of see some variation here. We start off with a big trough, a deep trough, that storm track lifting out of the southwest to the northeast. As we take the drawings off, though, and head to the end of the week, we'll see a big change. There you see that ridge of high pressure set in. This is just, you know, that Friday, Saturday, May 8th, 9th, and 10th time frame. Some ridging that's going to allow, again, that pause in the precipitation. It's also going to allow those warmer temperatures to overspread the region as well. Already pretty mild in the east, but it's a little cooler in the west with the precipitation expected. This is the look as we head through the next three and a half, four days. We'll go ahead and bring it back here. We'll step through time with this one and kind of time out the heaviest precipitation impacts. This is your early Monday morning. Scattered showers, heavier precipitation starts to lift into Saskatchewan as we get to the evening into the overnight. We then see that heavier precipitation kind of sling back to the west as we get into the overnight into early Tuesday morning. So a very wet, soggy start to the day on Tuesday. Maybe some snow mixing in as you get toward the higher elevations. This is your Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, now Tuesday night. The precipitation continues, still maybe some snowflakes mixing in across southern Alberta. This would be kind of midnight, getting into the early pre-dawn hours on Wednesday. And then we start to taper off through the day Wednesday as we get into Wednesday night. So the heaviest precipitation is Tuesday into Tuesday night, maybe Wednesday morning before we start to taper things off on Wednesday. Taking a look at total precipitation, again, this is through Saturday, but a lot of this falls over the next three days. This is where you see that corridor of the heaviest precipitation here, 30 to 50 millimeters of precipitation possible across a big chunk of central, southern, eastern Alberta into southwestern Saskatchewan that's surrounding that. You know, 15 to 30 uh, millimeters of precipitation across a big swath of central and southern Saskatchewan getting more into uh, northern portions of Alberta. And then you head all the way to the east into parts of southern Manitoba. This is where we're talking about more like 5 to 15 millimeters of precipitation. You certainly get in on some of that, but we don't get the concentrated area of long-lasting, heavy soaking precipitation that we do in the west. Not a lot of snow with this one. Again, some snowflakes mixing in at times. Not expecting accumulating snow from this one, though, as we get a little bit deeper into the spring season, a little harder to get that snowfall without a big push of cold air, which we just don't have with this setup. Again, the parade of storm systems continues in doing something like that. We pause it as we head through the end of the week into the weekend, but you see things kind of pick back up. This is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, getting into next week. Let's go ahead and pause this one and bring it on back. I'll show you the timing on this as well. We'll take the arrows off of there. 
getting it started here a lot of precipitation this is your monday into tuesday again i'll kind of highlight the prairie for you if you're having a hard time finding it uh, that is the prairie provinces we'll go ahead and just redraw that here's your you know the prairie proper for the most part uh, let's stop judging my drawings right now we'll go ahead and move through the forecast this is your rainy tuesday your rainy tuesday night you're tapering off wednesday this is now your dry thursday you are dry on friday you are dry Saturday. We start to pick things back up, though. Started to get some areas of low pressure, maybe some spotty showers as we get into Sunday. And then the storm track kind of picks back up as we get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We'll talk about the details of what we have next week as we do uh, the Monday morning forecast update next week. Your probability of picking up an inch or more of total precipitation. Again, a lot of this over the next three days, you're getting towards that 90 to 100% chance as you fall into the Alberta Saskatchewan border there, southwestern Saskatchewan, a big chunk of central, southern, and eastern Alberta. Going to get some soaking rain over the next few days. Again, we pause late week into the weekend before we kick it back into gear, heading into next week and those temperatures. While we will see some variation in the west, you know, that cooler air of the next couple of days, trending warmer in Alberta, by and large, a lot of mild temperatures for just about everyone on the prairie over the next seven days or so. There you see it, Calgary, a little cooler today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, warming up as we head to the last part of the week and the weekend. Very similar look in Edmonton, but as you head a little further east, mild through the entire week. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you again next Monday morning.